Uh, God bless you so much, my viewers from all over the world. Today I want us to pray for our children. But before I go to the prayer, I want to share with you some verses concerning children. In the book of Psalms 127, verse 3 to 5, the Bible says, Children are heritage from God, offspring a reward from Him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. In the book of uh, Proverbs 22, verse 6, Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn away uh, from it. Another verse that I will share with you uh, is in the book of uh, Mark 10, 16. And, the, and then he took the children in his arm, placed his hand on them, and blessed them. Today, the Holy Spirit has sent me to pray for our children, including yours. Most of the time we are too busy running our errands and doing things that are irrelevant. And we forget about our children and their destiny is at stake. As you can see our society today, there is so much that is happening in our young one and they need our prayers. Some of them, they are drug addicts. Some of them, uh, they are into occultic and so on and so forth. Early marriages and all other stuffs. We need to pray for them, that God will protect them in Jesus' mighty name. And if you know you are a parent, kindly take this prayer very serious. And you can share this video to other parents. And I know God is going to bless you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our children. I come before you this moment, trusting you and believing in you for the change and the transformation of our children. Lord Master, I pray for our children, whatever they are, whatever they do, that God may you protect them and preserve them. They are the leaders. They are the authority. They are the power. They are the strength. They are the arrows. Father, I pray that wherever they are, you may protect them and cover them in the name of Jesus. Any arrow of wickedness that is sent towards our children, I resend it back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Every arrow of sickness, I send it back to the sender. Arrows of drunkenness and drug addicts, I send it back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Our youth, our children, they shall not be used by demons and devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you may preserve their businesses, preserve their jobs, preserve their families, and preserve their children, children's, in the name of Jesus. Let there be inheritance in their names. I know that, God, Father, you always hear our prayer. Those who have already been taken captive, I pray for total deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I pray that you will release total deliverance upon our children. And when they are blessed, honor and glory shall return unto you. Bless the ladies, girls, bless the men, boys, and cover them in Jesus' mighty name. I rebuke the spirit of same sex. I rebuke the spirit of bestiality. I rebuke the spirit of queer. I rebuke that altar by fire, by thunder. In Jesus' name, our children will not be introduced on things that goes against our community guidelines. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, because you always answer our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and we believe. Somebody say amen. God bless you. We need to pray for our society so that even politicians will not use our children for their evil purposes to gain political mileage. May God bless you and guide you. And remember, I am Apostle Memo Olison, President and Founder of God's Generation Ministry. We are located along Thicker Superhighway, a place known as Wetaidia. Until we see each other, in the next special prayer. God bless you.